Brick Chick here, and today I'm making this video to show you guys how to make this Lego spinning bookshelf that leads into a secret room. So, this just looks like a pretty normal bookshelf that's built into a wall, but if you lift this up and push this in, you can actually spin the bookshelf and get access to the secret room. Now looking at how this works, so right now the bookshelf cannot be turned, it's kind of locked. And the reason that is, is because there are these two walls that prevent the bookshelf from being able to turn inward. But, when you lift this piece up and push that in, that moves this wall, and then you can spin the bookshelf. I'll use my brick chick minifigure to show you guys how a minifigure can get into this secret room. So this piece has been moved, so now you can turn the bookshelf. So the minifigure can just kind of come in here and go through here, and now they're in the secret room. And then once you're in, you can just spin the bookshelf back and bring this piece back and lock that back into place so no one else can get in. I'll go ahead and turn this around so you can see it from every angle. I used this spinning bookshelf in my LEGO Modern House mock and it led into a secret man cave. But of course you guys can make whatever kind of secret room you want. Alright, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this entire assembly from start to finish. So let's get started. Here are the pieces that I'm using to build this spinning bookshelf that leads into a secret room. Keep in mind that some of these pieces can be substituted with other pieces if needed for you guys to build this, and of course you guys can use whatever colored pieces that you would like. I'm using a 16 by 16 base plate to build everything on. And then in white I'm using 16 1x1 bricks, 4 1x1 bricks with one stud on the front, 13 1x2 bricks, 4 corner bricks, 13 1x3 bricks, 6 1x4 bricks, 10 1x6 bricks, 8 1x8 bricks, 8 1x16 bricks, 4 2x2 two two bricks, 6 2x3 two bricks, 4 2x4 two bricks, 1 2x8 two brick, 1 1x1 one one plate, 2 1x2 one plates, 1 corner plate, 4 1 by 4 plates, 2 1 by 12 plates, 1 2 by 2 plate, 1 2 by 3 plate, 4 2 by 6 plates, 3 2 by 8 plates, 1 1 by 1 tile, 3 1 by 2 tiles, 1 1 by 3 tile, 1 1 by 4 tile, 9 1 by 8 tiles, 4 2x2 two two tiles, 2 2x4 two tiles, and 2 2x2 two two turntables. In gray, I'm using 1 1x6 one plate, 2 2x3 two plates, 1 2x14 plate, 1 3x3 three three plate, 1 4x6 plate, 1 6x8 plate, 2 1x1 one one tiles, 2 1x2 one tiles, 3 1x4 one tiles, 2 1x8 one tiles, 3 2x2 two two tiles, and 4 2x4 two tiles. And then I'm also using a bunch of 1x1 one one bricks in different colors to represent books. And those are all the pieces that you will need. Let's get building. Alright, so I have my base plate here and I'm going to place a bunch of plates and tiles on this. So, first I'm going to take two 1x12 plates, I'm going to place one on this side and one on the other side. And then I'm going to place a 1x4 plate on this side, and on the other side I'm going to place a 1x2 plate and a corner plate right there. Then I'm going to take a 2x14 plate, I'm going to place that in the back here. In the front I'm going to place a 6x8 plate right here, just press that down. Next to that I'm going to place a 4x6 plate. Over here I'm going to place a 1x6 plate. Now I'm going to take a 3x3 plate, I'm going to place that right here. Then I'm going to take a 2x3 plate, place that right there. A 1x4 plate right here. And then a 2x3 plate right here. Next I'm going to place a 2x3 plate right here. And then a 2x2 plate right here. And now I'm going to start placing some tiles on here. So I'm going to take a 1x8 smooth tile, I'm going to place that right here. 
then a 1x4 smooth tile, place that right up there, and then a 1x1 smooth tile right there. Then I'm going to take a 1x8 smooth tile and place that right here, and then I'm going to take two 2x4 two smooth tiles and place them here and here. Then I'm going to take two 2x2 two two smooth tiles, I'm going to place one right here and one right here, and then I'm going to take two 1x2 two smooth tiles, I'm going to place one right here and one over on this side. And then I'm going to place two one by four smooth tiles right next to each other like this. And then a one by one smooth tile right over there. And then I'm going to take two two by four smooth tiles. I'm going to place one right here and one right next to that. And then I'm going to place a two by two smooth tile right there. And then to fill in this gap here, I'm going to place one of these two by two turntables right there. And now I'm going to set this foundation assembly aside and I'm going to show you how to make the bookshelf. All right, to make the bookshelf first, bring in a two x six plate and then take two one x six bricks, stack those on top of each other and place those on the plate. And then bring in six of these book assemblies. And these are just two one by one bricks stacked on top of each other. And I made these in different colors. And I'm just gonna place these all on a line like this. Next, bring in a two x four brick, place that right here. And then take four of these one by one bricks with one stud on the front and place two of those on each side like so and then take a two by six plate place that on top of all that and then bring in two one by six bricks stack those on top of each other and place those in the back and then bring in six more of these book assemblies in different colors and just place those on the front here like that then take two 2x6 two plates, stack those on top of each other, and just place those on top. And then bring in two 2x2 two two smooth tiles, place one on this side and one over on this side. And then take one of these 2x2 two two turntable pieces and place that right on top. And then take two 2x8 two plates, and then place two 1x8 smooth tiles on top of both of those. like this, and then place one of these assemblies over on this side and one on the other side. Now I'm going to set this bookshelf assembly aside and I'm going to bring back my base plate and I'm going to start building up the walls. Actually I'm going to move this aside for just a minute and I'm going to show you how to make the moving wall assembly that allows the bookshelf to turn. Alright, I'm going to bring in two 1x6 bricks and a 1x3 brick and I'm going to arrange them like this, and then I'm going to take a 1x8 smooth tile, and I'm going to place that right here, and then I'm going to place a 1x2 smooth tile right here, and then I'm going to take a 1x2 brick, I'm going to place that right here, and then a corner brick right here to attach all those bricks together, and then I'm going to take a 1x3 brick and a 1x2 brick, place those right there, then bring in another 1x2 brick and a corner brick, place those there, then a 1x3 brick and a 1x2 brick, place them there, just continue this pattern, another 1x2 brick and corner brick right there, 1x3 brick and 1x2 brick, 1x2 brick and corner brick, and then to finish this off I'm going to place a 1x3 smooth tile right here and a 1x2 tile right there. And now you should have something that looks like this. And now I'm going to bring my base plate back and I'm going to attach this to the base plate right there so it should look like this. To start building up the walls, I'm going to place a 1x16 brick over on this side, and then I'm going to place another 1x16 brick over on this side, then I'm going to place a 2x2 brick right over here, and then I'm going to place a 2x3 brick right here, a 1x3 brick right next to that, and then a 1x1 brick right here. Next I'm going to place a 1x6 brick over on this side, and then I'm going to place a 1x8 brick right here and a 1x1 brick right here. And now I'm going to place a 1x2 brick right in the back there, and then I'm going to take two 1x4 plates, stack them together like this, and then I'm going to place a 1x2 plate underneath there, and a 1x1 plate over here. So you should have something that looks like this, and then I'm going to place this assembly right here. And now over on this side, I'm going to place a 1x4 brick right here, a 1x8 brick right over here, and then a 1x1 brick right here, and then I'm going to place a 2x4 brick right in there, a 1x2 brick right in here, 
and then a 1x3 brick right there. And now I'm going to place a 1x16 brick on this side, and then I'm going to place a 2x2 brick right here, and a 1x1 brick right in there, and then I'm going to place another 1x16 brick over on this side, then I'm going to place a 2x3 brick right here, a 1x3 brick next to that, and then a 1x1 brick right here. And back over on this side, I'm going to place a 1x6 brick right here, a 1x8 brick right there, and a 1x1 brick right next to that. And then I'm going to place a 1x2 brick right in the back here, and then a 1x4 brick in front of that. Over on this side, I'm going to place a 1x8 brick right here, a 1x1 brick in front of that, and then a 1x4 brick right here. And then I'm going to place a 2x4 brick right here a 1x2 brick right here, and then a 1x3 brick next to that. So it should look like this. Back over on this side, I'm going to place a 1x16 brick right here. I'm going to place a 2x2 brick back here, and a 1x1 brick right in there. And then on this side, I'm going to place a 1x16 brick right here, and then I'm going to place a 2x3 brick right here, a 1x3 brick next to that, and then a 1x1 brick right there. There's still a couple more layers of bricks to go. Over here, I'm gonna place a 1x6 brick right here, a 1x8 brick right over here, and a 1x1 brick right next to that. I'm gonna place a 1x2 brick right here, and then a 1x4 brick in front of that. And over on this side, I'm gonna place a 1x4 brick right over here, a 1x8 brick right here, and a 1x1 brick right next to that. Then I'm gonna take a 2x4 brick, place that right here, Take a 1x2 brick, place that right here, and a 1x3 brick right over here. And back over on this side, I'm going to place a 1x16 brick right here. I'm going to take a 2x2 brick, place that right here, and a 1x1 brick right in there. Then I'm going to place a 1x16 brick over on this side. Then I'm going to place a 2x3 brick right here, a 1x3 brick next to that, and then a 1x1 brick right there. And now comes the time to bring in this bookshelf assembly and attach it to this 2x2 jumper plate down here, like so. And on top of that, place a 2x8 plate, just like that. You may think I'm done, but there's still another layer of bricks to go. So on this side, I'm going to place a 1x6 brick right here, a 1x8 brick over here, and a 1x1 brick next to that. Then I'm going to take a 1x1 brick, place it right back here. And then I'm going to place a 1x3 brick in front of that. Then I'm going to take a 2x8 brick. I'm going to place that right on top there. Then I'm going to take a 2x3 brick, place that in the back here. And then I'm going to place a 1x3 brick in front of that. And then I'm going to take a 2x3 brick, place that right over here. And then on this side, I'm going to place a 1x4 brick over here, a 1x8 brick over here, and a 1x1 brick next to that. And now the only thing that's left to do is to finish this off with some smooth tiles. So over on this side, I'm going to place two 1x8 smooth tiles. And then I'm also going to place two 1x8 smooth tiles over on this side. And then I'm going to place a 1x1 smooth tile right here. And then a 2x4 smooth tile right there. A 2x2 tile next to that. And a 2x4 smooth tile next to that. And then I'm going to place a 1x4 smooth tile right here a 1x2 smooth tile right here, and finally a 2x2 smooth tile right there. And now you guys know how to make this spinning bookshelf that leads into a secret room. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe so that you know when I make new videos. And thanks for watching guys.